Hello and welcome to Naked Chef Gaming, where we're back in Middle Earth Project for Crusader Kings 2 as our Dwarven King. Okay, what can we do now? So, that's what we're going to do. Assemble the Seven Kingdoms. The Council of Dwarven Kings, formerly in the heart of Mount Gundabad, where Durin the Deathless awoke, all the kings and uh, of the dwarves met in a great council. They exchanged information, traded and allied themselves against the forces of Morgoth. But for several millennia, Mount Gundabad was in the hands of orcs and the council could not meet. This area has recently been reclaimed and it's now time to re reunite excuse me, all the dwarves under the same banner once more. I call all the dwarven kingdoms Oh, pretty damn cool. Let's get back here while we wait. Glad to see Lorien's back. Under Lord Orifer, who's 37. King Tani has accepted an invitation, will join the Great Council of Dwarves. Nice, that's him up here. King Flui. That's uh, him down here. Is he not an imbecile? Or incapable? Yeah. He is incapable, but he's going to come. Good lad. Or I feels risk too much with my escapades and tried to persuade me to stop risking my life. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. King Reng has accepted. So where is he? He is up here. All the kings. King Anair. He looks pretty cool. And that's the guy that I've been trying to vassalize. King Ugur. And King Thorin. He's up here. Nice. I didn't see where that Ugur guy was. You've hired an old assassin to teach you the best. Of okay, so this is me to improve my intrigue. I need a new ambition. Money, maybe? Nope, learning. That's all I can do. So this guy, he's coming. Nice. The Council of Dorm King. The kings of the dwarves have gathered in Mount Gundabad for the great council as part uh, as in the past. While you run this first meeting, you submit an initial proposal to the Council of Dwarves. Unifying all the tribes of the dwarves in order to create a supremely powerful dwarf nation. Mm, of course I do. So everyone's starting to vote for it. Of course he does. Everyone likes me. Thanks. Thanks, Rang. Thanks, Anir. Ogre. Thorin. We all thank you. The King of Dwarves gathered in Mount Gunbad for the Grand Assembly as in the past. The interim head of the council proposed to unify all the tribes and kingdoms of the dwarves under the reign of King of All the Mountains, elected by a council of kings. I accept this proposal. The kings of the dwarves have accepted the proposal and agreed to create a great kingdom of all mountains, ruled by one king, elected every 20 years. It's now time to proceed to the election of first king. Ooh. Now time to vote for one of the kings of the dwarves who would become new king of the mountains. Who are the candidates? Uh, obviously me. Here you go, try and be diligent. Oh, he's, that's a girl, who cares, she can do what she wants. The candidates are declared and it's time for the kings of the dwarves to vote uh, for who will guide the destiny of our people. This moment will be legendary in the history of the dwarves. I'm the only candidate. Surprisingly. The kings of the dwarves have voted and at the count you discovered that you're the lucky one. I'm the only candidate. The council of kings elected you king of the dwarvish union and you will now govern all the kingdoms of the dwarves. The next election will take place in 20 years. So we... So the realm of Dune's folk is forfeit means uh, I'm now King 
of the Dwarfish Union's dead. Sweet. The kings of the dwarves have voted and the current year is covered king. Okay, so basically the same thing. May his beard always grow longer. So let's see what... It's a slightly darker colour. The Dwarfish Union. Nice. Kind of hard, harder to see in the map though. So what's my next step? Next step would be attack mortar. I think I don't think I can because I've got a truce. Let's see. The three eight eight. So we've got eight years of truce with them. Isengard maybe. I want this. Can I uh, take this place? Cool. So that's another mountain. This is the mountain that Gimli should get. If the uh, if the ring is destroyed, if he's um, does his job, but I don't know if that's going to happen. Maybe I should leave it. Maybe I should attack for Elm's Deep instead. Can I? I don't think I can. But let's uh, let's fabricate on it anyway. Fab and please so descent. Which where is he? 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 Prove that my relations so descent. Fabricate and claim on Helm's Deep. Yeah, Helm's Deep. So let's get Helm's Deep. Dor should have that land. Ah, poor old Gondor. He got any kids yet? He's got two. He's got twins. Range betrothal. No. Why not? I must not marry to an infidel. Well, that's out the window. I would have helped you, my friend, but it looks like. No, you can't. Let's try and pick off these orcs in the north then. See, now we can't attack Mordor. Ah, I used to have a castle spell against them. That's a shame. So that I can't do anything. I thought this would be mine then. Why is he not? I thought he would be my vassal, no? It did say all dwarf dwarves, yeah, all dwarves will be united under one banner. But this guy it seems he's a bit special, are you? Are you a special man? You should be my... Come here. Declare war? <laughs> Offer vassalization. Nope. Anyone else I can attack? How about this dude? Canned. I can. There's all these mountains I can sell in. Over here. <laughs> Cool. Let's uh, let's settle these these bits, shall we? Let's see what else we can do. There's quite a few uh, areas we can settle in. Down here? No, thanks. Let's see what we can get is closest. Ooh. Oh, Dale's back. Hello, Dale. So. I can take this little bay. Shouldn't be too hard. I have now got purpose. Defeat the evil canned. Can I get more retinue? Yes, I can. Can I afford it though? Yeah, why not? Making. Still making money. Still making money. Yeah, we're fine. So it looks like our retinue is going to be like 10,000. Just stay here until we can get to maximum strength. How the hell did Dale get down here? 
Thing barred the wise. The wood men of Mirkwood. At least they're men. Uh, look at the spiders. Uh. So here's King Thranduil. That's all he's got left. Ooh. Comes deep already. Nice. So we could have two wars or just uh, leave it with one. <laughs> the Lords of Gundabad. <laughs> what? Who cares about them? So that's like, he must have the kingdom which makes up my area. Can I attack you yet? Nope. I would have thought I'd have a castle's belly up in these mountains. But it seems not. Why is there no character here? Let's have me. And let's go down here. Attack. Canned. Declare war for this one. Uh, bitterness. <laughs> By a snake, the brave little fool keeps seeking out danger. Yeah, let's make him brave. Of course we want him to be brave. We're going to take this two little provinces off you. Is that my son is now a skilled tactician? Cool. It's weird having like one son who's 172 and next one is 16, 11, 6 and 3. What's the average life expectancy of a, a dwarf? Let's see. How old is my dad? 134. I've outlived him. 240. So I've outlived everyone in my family so far. A good sign? Or is it a bad sign? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe uh, that means I'm soon to die at any moment. The Jangovars. Isn't that Jangovar? Isn't that what you get when you drink too much in the in the morning? <laughs> See what it is no. King Susachiwan of the Jangovars. Never heard of them before. Army of Adza, so that's an orc army? Yeah, who cares about them? Let them rise up against their overlord. It's not good being surrounded by Mordor. How are they doing for their men? Do they replenish? Break? I reckon they probably replenish pretty quickly. 71,000, yeah. Need a, a coordinated attack. See when if Gondor happened to attack them for whatever reason. I can, yeah, I can sell in there as well. Nice. I'll maybe do that then. Have little lands dotted all over the place. I'm still intrigued as to why I don't have this. Very strange. He has the realm of Nunruk has and the two district in the hall. I would have thought that comes under my jurisdiction, but obviously not. Hopefully we can just assault here, because it should be easy enough just to take them rather than wait for their men to come across and attack them. Helps if the pause button isn't on. Wow, taking its time. There we go. He didn't even raise his men, that's why it took so long. Nane is afraid of the dark. What a silly Billy. Let's try and get diligent. Trusting, diligent, craven. Craven, yeah. Nice trusting. Yeah. Not bad. Yeah, he didn't even raise his men. He just left it. We have to fight through the levee first, and then the garrison. So it's taken a while. And attack again. Next one. That's only 13%. Oh, 
Oh no, maybe I have to go and attack his, his men. Or maybe like set peace. If I just own these two areas. I'll definitely get a ticking war score anyway. This one's a bit easier. Sweet. It's only 32%. Right, so I suppose let's go over here and start taking his land. He's huge. Probably bigger than Mordor, but I think these are all just like desert or something. So you won't get many men from it. Tezarsen. Never seen that before. Strange things happening in this playthrough. I would have thought the One Ring would have been destroyed by now. He's still going. Let's see if we can find Frodo again. Uh oh. Oh no. <laughs> I thought that was him. Phew. Still the bearer of the Ring Bearer. Character holds One Ring. What are you going to do with it? Get rid of it. Where is he? He's in the Shire. Why would you be in the Shire? He's on the quest, so you won't be in the Shire. What? Who's in charge of here? Thane Paladin. So he's been named after a dwarf. Oh, very strange. Sheriff Frodo of the Shire. Let's see if we... We're starting to run a bit lower on money, so let's see if we can... Ransom anyone? Nope, just the. How are we doing on technology? Construction, trade practices, improve keeps. Yes, improve keeps, why not? Don't need any of that. Heavy infantry? Shipbuilding? Definitely don't need shipbuilding. I wonder how long it would actually take for the ring bearer usually to. I've never checked like what, what the date is when the ring bearer either wins or loses. By the looks of thing, he's losing, but he still has the ring. Eight defenders. Is this guy going to give up yet? I'll finish taking these two, because at least I'll get some money out of it. Although I'm probably losing enough men that it's going to outweigh it with the Reinforcement costs. Right, let's see. Will he... Will he give up, Mr. Man? Nope. Just gonna have to go through your lands, then. I rule the Dwarfish Union. I could maybe get better, but it's not worth the hassle. Should I get more claims on something else? That is the big question. Fabricate claims on... I don't think I need it, but... I could fabricate claims up here. Every now and again I do get a claim. Or maybe I should try and fabricate claims down here. Let's get this place. We'll try and get the, the land surrounding... Um, Erebor, just so it's a bit cleaner. Because you saw last time, they just had all the orcs of Mordor sitting around here. Quite a lot of men, so I'll maybe just leave that one to siege rather than assault it. So let's see, I should be getting at 15% yeah, King Dana controls Elheather. What's Rune doing up here? It's just Everything's gone to shit. Is Mordor going to attack more? I don't know. Umbars, you're just ruining everything. Give it back to Gondor. Stop being greedy. Uh, maybe if I attack Mr. Umbar or something, then he will. Gondor will attack him back. We'll try it. I think I've got a place down here. Oh, it's Gondor. Why have they got a place down there? 
I try to make it so that Gondor can attack back, but <laughs> it's not looking looking too good. Sixty five percent now. At least we can assault this one because there's not that many men. Next, please. Seventy two percent getting there. Army of Count so Mordor's attacking his weights resistance. Who the hell is this? Ah, he's got his men finally up here. Can yeah. So let's. Well, that's too many men. Let's go and kill these guys. Take the long way around, I suppose. That will lose me my taking war score. Yep. So I'm back down at 36. And he's just going around assaulting them all back. Come out, come out, wherever you are. You'll probably be coming down this way. To assault back these, because they'll have, like, two men. Yeah, 31 men. Ah, so slow. Let's uh, make it a bit faster, shall we? This is uh, not looking too good. Nice, so I've got a claim on... Oh, it's a lot of gold. Who cares? Now let's try and get a fabricate a claim on... Umbar. We don't really want to do it on a Gondor Bay. Let's do it way down here. On his capital or something. So at least I can claim it, but I don't have to go down and seize it. I'll just come down and help Gondor over here. Either that or just let him take his men up here. Yep, as I thought. They're going over here. Why? Why go that way? So much quicker. Silly dwarfs. 41 Marshall. That's incredible. Is that going to be a huge crossing? Yeah, it is. Oh. It came to me. That's very nice of you. What the hell? Whee! Woo! Doing little jumpy aroundy bits. So I'll just assault these back and that should be it done. 69%. I doubt he's got many more men. Oh, there they are. Two men. Coming to kill my 8,000 dwarves. Hey, oh no, I'm ill again. Oh dear. At least I am, I've formed the Seven Kingdoms. I'm something like Game of Thrones, the Seven Kingdoms. Although that guy's still not part of... Still don't understand it. What the fine looking beard you have. <laughs> My daughter. 100%. I'm alive. Beautiful. So, offer peace. Ta-da. We're actually over our immense size by quite a bit. Mostly because of these, but I'll need to get rid of them. And still three over. Ah, and this one. So I'll get rid of these two to someone who wants it. And I can give it to random people, or I can just give it to my son. There you go. You can have it. Vault. What are the vaults? Oh, here you go. And this one? What are these ones? The halls? The vault of... Why have I got places down here? It just doesn't make sense. Inheritance? Okay, who cares. If you can take it back, I don't want it. I should have another one. This thing here. Vault up here. I don't want that. So now I've got two more demand size. And my son has some land. 
He'll love me for it. Of course he does. Everyone loves me. 